Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm getting um, many questions from you uh, about full water culture and my experience with it because I've been growing orchids for 13 years now and um, just put these orchids in um, full water culture starting the end of April. So I've been doing this for three months now and I just thought I'd give you some beginner's tips on how to start your orchids in full water culture and what to expect. Um, the reason why I started full water culture was um, I did a lot of research on it. I've done a lot of traveling and I've seen orchids growing in the wild and I noticed that none of the orchids growing in the wild were in bark in any way. So it started me thinking about how to better grow orchids. Then I got a hold of a lot of information on full water culture, took notes on it, really studied up on it, and here we are. We are in full water culture. So I started over here with this singalo, and um, when I first started this in water, it had this root and this root, and that's all. And I will lift this up and let you see um, all of the growth that I have had since, since the end of April. Now, this root right here has some, I think it's some algae on it. Uh, this one, I clean it about once a week and change the water about twice a week on this. But I'm noticing it's getting less and less algae on it. What I do is I spray this part after I've cleaned it with some hydrogen peroxide, 3%. I let it dry, and then I return it back to the water. So as you see, I've got new roots coming out everywhere on this plant. This is all growth for about 10 weeks. I can't believe I've never seen anything grow this fast. This is my poster child for for full water culture method. The water never gets dirty. I'd only had this about six months before I put her down in water culture and her water's clean. She is growing new roots everywhere as you see. It's been amazing with this orchid. Uh, this orchid when I first started it, it only had one long root. Let me see if I can show you the one that's down in the water. And let me see if I can show you. It's got little roots growing from that main root. I don't know if you can see it down in the water. Yes, now you can. So I have really, I've really enjoyed this method of growing. Um, I placed this orchid in full, full water culture about seven weeks ago. The spike that you see here, <laughs> it's, um oh my goodness, it's probably two and a half feet long. When I first started it, the spike was back to here. This leaf was just starting. So you can see about seven or eight weeks of growth here. Um, plus, I've got new roots coming out everywhere on this plant. So if you're planning on starting full water culture, the first thing you need to do is you need to buy some distilled water at the store. That's what these are in. And have several glass uh, vases or even a measuring cup will fit some of these orchids. Like this one right here. This one would fit down in a measuring cup very easily like one of those two cup Pyrex glass measuring cups. But as you see, each one of these has a slightly different size. This, this one has roots. Wow, this one has a lot of roots on it. So um, just so you know, I've had this one for six years or maybe even seven and it has done fantastically well. So I just kind of wanted to show you how to get started, explain to you what you can expect. And of course, if you have questions, feel free to ask me and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And I hope you're having a wonderful day and be highly favored.
deeply loved and greatly blessed. And we'll see you next time.